Okay guys, I just got done with this little mini album summer project that I was doing with our paper pad madness, bash your whole paper pad stash. Um, and I finished my album before I finished my paper pad, so I've got tons left over, but I was so excited I wanted to show you really fast. So this album was just in my closet. It's an 8x8. It's got some sticky stuff on it. I don't know how many years it's been in the closet, but I figured it worked fine for a summer album. I'll use some lemon oil and get that off, but let's see if I can do a quick flip through. So I had this cute little card that said the top 10, so I just kind of jotted down some of the fun things. This splash pad page I actually did during National Scrapbook Weekend. Um, it was one of the challenges, and I loved it, loved it, thought it was so cute. Um, and then just really fast, a rainy page, an ice cream page, a barbecue page, not part of my stash. Um, a bookworm page. A Laguna Beach page. That's a local water park here. Um, a field trip page that I went on with her. And a little kissy selfie that we did. Um, another one of the, some of the scraps from the kit that I made for the summer. My counterfeit kit for June, I guess. Or maybe it was the one I made for May, National Scrapbook Weekend, whenever that was. Um, just a cute one of Matt and Ellie. There's always cute ones of Matt and Ellie. I loved using the little um, paper strips from the top of the pages. I did that on a lot of pages. It was a lot of fun. I loved the little mason jars. Those came from my paper pad, the strawberry paper. I had this little berry sweet on a Project Life card, so I had to add some yellow hearts just so it kind of matched. Um... I loved this one with the rose paper from my pad. I love this gray polka dot kind of neutral. If you pay attention, I mostly use cardstock for my base pages. So this was a huge challenge for me to pull out a bunch of pattern paper. But that was a cute one. Using up some um, a paper that has a bunch of words. Using a bunch of those. That was in my kit that I had pulled out for the summer. A little movie page. A root beer float and face painting at a local event we went to. This was so funny. I didn't know what she was doing because this was taken a year ago. And I can't remember the actual memory. But I thought it was so cute. She looked kind of like a dog looking for treats. Sorry, the glare is kind of funny with the sheet protectors. But I just wanted to show you really quick that it was done. Um, just a picture of her at breakfast. We go to breakfast on the weekends. Um, her making bread at the daycare. Just really cute. This was a little scrap of one of the papers from the pad. This number paper actually had a big number missing right here. I had cut out for another project for another page in this book. And I covered it up and was able to use that page with a big hole in it. So that was fun. And then a quick 4th of July page. This is one of those strips from the tops of the paper. And I did it all the way across. Used some little stickers that were in my planner stickers. And then a page of her babies in this pattern paper. And these were the little strips from four different papers. And just really cute. A little baby bottle and a pink heart. Thanks for watching.